Welcome to the Pharmacist's Voice Podcast, Episode 242. I'm the host, Kim Newlove. I'm a pharmacist by training, but I'm not in clinical practice anymore. I'm a voice actor and a podcast host. I specialize in medical narration and podcasting. My website is thepharmacistsvoice.com. Today's episode is a drug disposal quiz. This is in honor of the upcoming National Prescription Drug Take Back Day here in the United States. That's going to be on Saturday, October 28th, 2023, from 10 a to 2 p.m. Again, October 28th, 10 to 2. During my 22 years as an Ohio licensed pharmacist, I have taken an interest in drug disposal. Yes, of all things, drug disposal. I believe that pharmacists can make a positive impact in their communities by knowing how to safely dispose of all types of drugs at various times of the year. Ideally, there would be a magical box at every pharmacy and everything could go in it. Solid tablets, liquid allergy medicine, eardrops, EpiPens, creams, nasal sprays, inhalers, and so on. However, it just doesn't work that way. As a result, we field questions about drug disposal all the time. Am I right? To prepare you for those inevitable questions that you'll, you'll probably field about drug disposal at some point during this year, I put together a drug disposal quiz. This is a rare episode, by the way. This is a crowdsourcing episode. I'm not just going to say the question and give you the answer. There will be no answers given today. I am crowdsourcing your answers. So please feel free to answer one or all of these questions. If you submit a response, you just might hear your response here on the podcast. Now, how does that happen? I have a voicemail option on my website. That's how we're going to do it. My website is thepharmacistsvoice.com. Go to the Contact tab, click on Start Recording, and leave your message. As an alternative, if you don't want to leave a voicemail, no problem. Just fill out the contact form, and I might read your answer on the show. So two ways to get on the show, leave me a voicemail or send me a message. Now, if no one answers, well, you'll just hear my responses. I will certainly answer those questions. No matter how I get responses, whether they're mine or yours, they will be published on Saturday, October 28th, 2023, which is the next Drug Take Back Day. This will be a special bonus episode. Let's get started. I have 10 questions for you. Number one, your cousin gives you a half-empty tube of 5-FU cream, fluorouracil cream, that they used for some actinic keratoses. Treatment ended, the tube's still half full, it's in their medicine cabinet, they don't want it, but they know better than to throw it in the trash. It's September 15th, drug take-back day is October 28th. What do you tell them to do? Number two. You are volunteering at a movie night at your child's elementary school. The kids are so cute, and they're so excited to watch some movie. You're at the sign-in table. A first grader with a peanut allergy gets dropped off, and you're the one that signs them in. You are now in charge of their EpiPen, which their parents have handed to you. After the drop-off, you notice that the pen is five months expired. Mom or dad is coming to pick up this student and their expired EpiPen in an hour. It's September 15th. Drug take-back day is October 28th. What will you say to them? Question number three. You visit your grandma. Aw, grandma. You have a headache and you need some Advil. You walk over to the medicine cabinet and all of her OTCs expired 20 years ago literally 20 years ago. How is grandma still alive? You're wondering. It's September 15th. Drug take back day is October 28th. What do you say to grandma? Number four, your domestic partner, let's say it's your husband, I have one of those, switches from lisinopril to losartan. He doesn't know what to do with his discontinued lisinopril tablets. It's September 15th. Drug take back day is October 28th. What do you do about that lisinopril? Number five, you're a pharmacist and you volunteer with your county's addiction task force. Addiction task force for your county. 
They have information tables at health fairs and other community events. You're at a table. You're a pharmacist. You're at the community event. It's September 15th. Drug Take Back Day is October 28th. What opportunities do you have as a pharmacist at this table? Number six, one of your kids came home from college to visit. Hooray. Bad news, though. You help her with her laundry like a good parent, and you find a joint, a marijuana joint. It's in the pouch of her favorite funky-smelling hoodie. Ugh. Bummer. It's September 15th. Drug take-back day is October 28th. Can you get rid of the joint at the take-back day event? Number seven. You're working in a community pharmacy, and one of your favorite patients comes in with a grocery sack full of expired medications. She wants you to take care of them for her. Unfortunately, your store does not have a drug disposal box. It's September 15th. Drug take-back day is October 28th. What do you tell this patient to do? Number eight. When is the last time you, as a pharmacy professional, cleaned out your own medication cabinet? It's September 15th. Drug take-back day is coming up October 28th. What are you going to do? Number nine. Where's the closest drug disposal box to you, physically, to you, whether you're at your store or your home? Do you know where the nearest drug disposal box is? And finally, number 10. On drug take back day, where can you or people in your community dispose of dosage forms that are not generally collected at drug disposal boxes year round at police stations and in community pharmacies? This would be inhalers, liquids, injectables, like Lovenox maybe, some suppositories, patches, and so on. Where can people in your community dispose of those odd dosage forms? Does one particular hospital or collection site, maybe a police station, open up just twice a year to collect those? If you don't know the answer, find out. That does it for the drug disposal quiz. Hopefully, you've found these 10 questions to be interesting, and hopefully your wheels are already turning about the answers. Again, please share your responses with me. This is a crowdsourcing episode, and I want you to leave a voicemail on my website, thepharmacistvoice.com. Click on the contact tab and then click on start recording, or send me a message using my contact form. I'll share the answers on Saturday, October 28th, 2023. That's the next prescription drug take-back day here in the United States. Thank you for listening to The Pharmacist's Voice podcast, episode 242. Please visit thepharmacistvoice.com to read the show notes. In the show notes, you'll find a link to the DEA's website, which has the information about take-back day. You'll find a link to my website, my social media links, and more. If you like this podcast, please subscribe to or follow the Pharmacist Voice podcast on your favorite podcast player and YouTube to get each new episode right when it comes out. I'll be back on Friday, September 22nd with an interview with Dr. Frank North. He's the president of NAFA, the National Pharmaceutical Association. Thanks again for listening today. I'll talk to you next week.